Welcome to part two of the Rebel Helmet instruction tutorial. In part one of this series, we introduced the raw Rebel Soldier Helmet Kit, trimmed and assembled. We reviewed painting and weathering, resulting in a finished helmet piece. Here, we handle the assembly of the replica M1 helmet inner and outer shells, the helmet cover, and weathering techniques. Okay, first thing we're going to do now is take this liner, put it into the outer shell, and you can see that we have a little bit of trimming to do. So I'm going to line it up, grab a marker, and mark where I need to trim it down. And I think I am going to use my bandsaw. Okay, I actually ended up using a Dremel with a cutoff wheel to trim this helmet liner. The front of the replica liner has this band for the forehead, so you're going to line that up with the front and it fits inside very well. And now it is time to attach the helmet cover to the outer shell. I'm going to start this attachment process by using some Spray 77 lightly sprayed onto the outer edges and very lightly across the top. The helmet cover is pretty symmetrical front and back so you want to dry fit this first and see what fits best with the uh, with the helmet armor in place and I've found that this particular cover is in the rear the ribbing is stitched longer so you've got more ribs down at the back of this from using this little keyhole as your starting point as your middle point and it's longer here so this is the front of it so I'm going to align the front with the front of the M1 cover I'm going to set it down into position stretch it Make sure I'm lined up. And then I'm looking pretty good here. I'm going to do a little test fit with the donut. Everything's looking pretty symmetrical there. Okay, I'm liking that. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to spray 77 the interior of these flaps. And you're going to work each flap. And I'm also spray 77 the interior of the plastic shell. So I make sure I get all these flaps. Interior of the shells. Alright, and then I'm just going to start folding these flaps over and I'm just going to start nipping and tucking. Get it in nice and tight. I'm going to try to avoid as many wrinkles as possible and just massage this helmet liner to the interior. Okay, I've been working this liner in really tight. You want to get it really super tight up front. And that spray kicker is starting to cure. So I'm pretty happy with the way I've got it lined in here. I've got all the flaps adhered in here. And now it's time to attach this armor. I'm going to spray 77 the interior of it. I'm putting it on pretty strong, especially on the lower edges and the upper edge. And now we're going to put this in place, make sure it's lined up proper. And I, since all the spray 77 is still pretty new, I can go ahead and massage it a little bit and get it to stick on nice and tight. Okay, I've got this on here pretty tight. Uh, I've got a really good alignment. I've got a nice flat top with this helmet cover. 
pretty tight. So now what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to spray 77 kick. Remember, the front of the liner has that headband, the forehead band, goes to the front of the helmet. So I'm going to hot, I'm going to spray 77 that, and I'm going to slide this into place and secure that down nice and tight. Okay, last step. We are really going to bring this helmet home now. We are going to antique this fabric. I've got a very black pot of coffee that I've decantered into this bucket. I'm using a, a chip brush. And we are going to antique this fabric to make it look very old and worn and weathered. You don't want this looking new. You want this looking very old. So, little by little, we're going to brush on this coffee. And we're going to let it stain that fabric. And make sure that you're, you're dripping it down underneath the level of the actual um, armor. And you are going to coat this entire thing. Stain her up. Have some fun. Enjoy a fresh cup of coffee as you're doing this. And here we go. Make sure you get that coffee nice and strong. Black. So there's something else here I wanted to include so you didn't miss out on, on one of the weathering steps is besides brushing on coffee, I'm giving it a little bit more weathering and staining just by rubbing my hand on a dirty floor, your shop floor, do fine. Just kind of like get some dirt on your hands and just rub it into the texture of this fabric. And we're getting like a really nice dirtied up effect here. And one thing I wanted to note too before I finish this tutorial is don't worry about the, the coffee dripping onto your resin parts because we sealed them with that clear sealer. So you don't have to worry about any kind of paint rubbing off when, you, uh, when you're when you brushing on this coffee. You know, I'm just going to let this coffee actually dry onto the fabric and the armor. I'm not going to worry about that at all. Uh, again, we sealed it and it's protected. So in addition to painting the coffee directly on, you can also wet tea bags with hot water and paint with the tea bags. And you'll get a little bit more of a deeper effect. Another technique my friend Chuck just told me about is using coffee grounds in with hot water. This is a maybe about a 40% mixture with water, but you can go up as high as you want and you could paint directly using the coffee grounds to go even more aggressive. When this dries, you could just uh, air blast off the coffee grounds. You can go in stages if it's not dramatic enough. Again, you could just do go again with more layers. Alright, there you go guys. Finished the one day build. This took a few hours. We have accurate detailing here on the back. We've got double rubber bands across the perimeter of the helmet. Accurate detailing on the lower vent. Your death stick box. Side helmet camera. And beautifully sewn helmet cover. And in addition to all of that we have an interior replica M1 helmet liner. Just in case you can't get a hold of a real M1 helmet, this is a replica liner. Thanks for watching this tutorial series. Make sure to check out the link and subscribe to check out the other tutorials.